Hello so guys, today I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and play on split screen on Modern Warfare So it's pretty easy, you can also play with your friends on keyboards and also on mouses and stuff like that So this works for the Xbox One and the PS4, it's pretty easy to do So let's start off The first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and go on your first controller so this is my first controller and like you see it is already locked in into one of my accounts and then you want to grab something that you also want and if it's like for example a keyboard like this that is wireless you want to get the uh, USB Bluetooth stick of this device and plug it into your console so plug it into your console and then it will work out and it will just automatically connect it's that easy but if you have something like this without something bluetooth what you want to do is you want to go ahead and connect it with just a wire and that's it also the mouse you also want to connect that with a wire to your ps4 and that's how easy it is so guys, what you do on the controller is, it's pretty easy to press on the PSM button. And go to your other account. So I'm just going to choose this one. And now we are actually playing on split screen. So you cannot see it right now because um, it will only show once you are playing a game. So let's start off a game local game um, let's just play press on play create a local game and like you see on here you have about two players it could also happen that you have to press on X to activate your account or to join in in modern warfare sometimes you log in but it's still not on so you want to press on the x button or the a button on the xbox one or another button on the keyboard so what you want to do is if you want to use a keyboard you want to go to these options right over here so let's go to start go to general and you want to activate a keyboard and mouse so you want to make sure that you activate that guys and do that before you play a game because if you are playing a game it won't like show up and it will show like a lock screen so guys what will happen is once you connect your keyboard so i have it connected right now with a wireless thing that i used and what's gonna happen right now is if i uh, move my mouse the settings will be different sometimes so let's go to options and now on here i'm going to okay i can't not move it so i actually did the wrong controller so i'm gonna do it with the other controller now i can move it so what i first want to do is what you first want to do is you want to go to keyboard and mouse and on here i will suggest you guys to open this one enable this so once this enabled it will be a lot smoother actually you won't like really know this on the video but once you are like playing you will actually know this um, uh, difference that you are while you're playing and now go to general and change this to keyboard and mouse and now once you start off a game you will be playing on keyboard and mouse so it will only be an option if you are playing with a keyboard that is connected and a mouse and also guys you will get a second like uh, another option like you see on here if you activate your i mean your uh, if you connect your keyboard and mouse to it it's that easy let's go back so now you can just go ahead and play a game with each other and i also want to tell you guys before i end this video that if you are playing like now and once you connect your uh, controller back and you want to play with your controller without using your keyboard and anything like that what you have to do is you want to go to the PSN option go to settings go to accessibility if you get like a keyboard arrow code that's when you have to do this so go to button assignments and 
sometimes it will be like disabled so you want to make sure that this is enabled and you want to make sure it's on the two profiles that you are playing with with your friends and you so if one of the accounts doesn't work let's just say um this control doesn't work so you have to log in to this profile that you are using or something else and you want to make sure that this is on if you want to play with your controller back again so like you see guys it's pretty cool so let's start off and don't mind this screen guys this is just my game capture card i was recording another video so this is something else and now let's choose a class a random class so like you see now you can play with each other so one is like playing on the keyboard and one is like playing on a controller so like you see that's easy you can also play together with two keyboards if you connect another one like this one but this one is not connected right now so only this one and that's how easy it is but if you can like i don't think you can connect a xbox one controller to your ps4 i don't think it works if you maybe like jailbreak it or do some stuff maybe you can but i don't think it's gonna work so this was the video guys and thank you for watching also you can follow me at twitter i will leave a link in the description down below also for instagram and my second youtube account and also guys you can join the Aerofix community if you have problems or questions. So guys, if you need help, what you also can do is you can go to communities or you can just comment down below. And here at communities, I have a um, community Aerofix and Kira. You can always join it if you have questions and things like that. And also on the Xbox One, there's the same community with the same names. So you can also search it up on Xbox One. And that's how easy it is. So thanks for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below. And take care of yourself. Goodbye.